I am thanking the gods today because Perry has heard my cry to make this song different and instrumental. So let's get into it. Hey everyone, it's Ashley, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome. I recently did a reaction, I'm just searching for it, to uh, Perry Edwards' song. Okay, we gotta stop calling her that. Just Perry, it's just Perry now, sorry. I did a reaction to Perry's song, Don't Forget About Us, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like it. It was cute, she sounds great. The vocals at the end of the song were amazing because we got to hear those high notes that we all love from her, but I wanted something else. I was hoping for something else. And a lot of the comments stated, it's like a radio friendly song. But girl, I don't want radio friendly from you, okay? I want Perry. I want vocals. I want you to scream at me at the top of your lungs, like Celine Dion, Mariah Carey style, because we know you can do it. Perry released an acoustic version of um, Forget About Us. I think I keep calling this song Don't Forget About Us, but whatever. I am so excited to hear it because I think it's going to sound so much better. Although I, I still overall just don't care for the song, but I'm excited to hear if she changed it at all. So let's listen to the audio. I heard you fell in love with somebody new. I know you heard that I found someone too. Saw so you blew up and I'm proud of you. But I don't want to hear those songs no more. Yeah. Do you remember the way we fell in? Like everything froze with just one glance then From heaven to nothing it feels like hell Well, here's the truth of it I don't want you ever to forget about us In the front seat Listening to songs that made you think about me Bonfire smoke on your hoodie that I stole from your flat No, I never gave it back I don't want you ever to forget about I found more love since you for sure And I don't wanna go back to where we were before But when I hear your name it's still so raw Do you ever feel the same way too? Yeah Do you remember the way we fell in? Like everything froze with just one glance then From hell and nothing it feels like hell Well, here's the truth of it you ever to forget about us in the front seat Listening to songs that made you think about me Bonfire smoke on your hoodie that I stole from your flat No, I never gave it back But I don't want you ever to forget about us I know we were never perfect But I think about the life we never had Yeah, we both found different love And we're moving on Let's leave it buried where it was But I don't want you ever to forget about us Forget about us I don't want you ever to forget about Like everything froze with just one glance then From heaven to nothing it feels like hell Well, here's the truth of it I don't want you ever to forget about us In the front seat Listening to songs that made you think about me Bonfire smoke on your hoodie I stole from your flat No, I never gave it back but I don't want you ever to forget about us I know we were never perfect but I think about the life we never That was so much better, although it was still a little busy. I would have just preferred her with an acoustic guitar. I didn't care for all the stuff they added in, but whatever. Thank you for showcasing her vocals in this version because that's what we need to hear. This song sounded country to me, and I feel like Perry could be an iconic country artist, like iconic, because she reminds me a lot of... 
Carrie Underwood. Imagine Carrie and Perry up against the same awards. Oh my God, I would die. But like Carrie Underwood is that country singer who's like very country. But she also has, she's a power vocalist. Like she has those pipes. And I feel like Perry has those pipes, but doesn't have the twang. But she doesn't need a twang. You don't need a twang to be a country artist. But I just think she would fit so nicely in a country genre pool. But whatever, if she wants to be a pop artist, that's fine with me too, because she already is. Ah, I'm just so glad they showcased those sick ass vocals from her finally, because that's what people need to hear. If she wants to be kind of independent from Little Mix and find new fans that maybe don't even know Little Mix, because let's be real, I'm Canadian and I only found out about Little Mix not that long ago. Like it's been a while, but like not like Little Mixers have like I didn't watch them on X Factor. I don't have that UK show here. So I didn't know about them till much, much later until all the drama with Jesse started. Um, so it's just crazy to me that the, she could be introducing new people to her music, especially if this is becoming like one of those, you know, pop songs that are going to kind of hit every billboard in every country. You want people to remember your voice and those vocals at the end are epic. This killed the original, killed, murdered, suicide. I love Perry. I hope she's watching this because Perry, I think you're a gem. And I know your album is going to be sick. And if it's not, I'm going to (laughs) cry. I'm going to be so disappointed. But like, whatever, you're happy making your music. And that's all that matters. And I know the little mixers, including myself, will support you in any way we can. Okay, I feel like so much better about that song now because the way that it just sounded like an Ed Sheeran song when I first heard it, I called that. And this doesn't sound like an Ed Sheeran song. It has those parts in it that make it sound Ed Sheeran-y. And if you want, like, I can kind of show you what I mean. I don't want you ever to forget about us. It's that background though. It's the dun, 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 dun. Just sounds like dun, 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 dun. It just sounds like Ed Sheeran to me. But although it does have the same melody as an Ariana Grande song, I swear to God, can you imagine if Ed Sheeran wrote that song too? Oh my God, I have to go check. One Last Time was not written or produced by Ed Sheeran. So that makes sense because I like that song. But this song, I don't know, it gives me Ed Sheeran vibes and I called it, but you do you, Perry. You do you. My vinyl of the day, I know this is weird, okay? It's a weird vinyl, but it's Aerosmith. So obviously they have weird vinyls, but this album is so nostalgic to me. You guys have no idea what this album means to me. It's so strange, right? This is like my first real rock album that I ever listened to. So I have been, this has been on my wish list since I started collecting vinyls. I knew I wanted this in my collection because it was the first album that I think just pushed me over to the edge of heavier rock and Aerosmith will always hold a special place in my heart. I'm obsessed. I even have a concert vlog of me seeing Steven Tyler for the first time. I had the time of my life that night. I was like just stunned by watching this man perform because his voice is stupid good. But anyways, this is get a grip on vinyl. It's a repress. It's repressed on a 180 gram vinyl, which is very heavy. Um, But my favorite songs, oh my God, it's so hard, but I have to go with like crying or crazy and I'm just so glad they're on the same vinyl because I could just spin those three songs oh man so I'm really excited to listen to that and open it for my YouTube shorts so if you don't know Aerosmith or you're not a fan or you haven't really gotten into them go check them out check them out before they're gone guys (laughs) they're getting old Uh, I get to see them live in January I really hope that concert happens it will be my first time seeing Aerosmith live I'm going with my mom which is, I might just cry that whole show because it's just so weird that my mom had this on CD and told me not to listen to it. And then I just stole it from her every time she would go out and I would listen to it. So thanks mom for uh, making me a music junkie, I guess. (laughs) And yeah, never tell your kids they can't listen to music because it just makes them want to do it even more. (laughs) 
<laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.